hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you a very basic example of using fetch inside your javascript application so we will be making a http request to this uh, fake rest api for developers which is json placeholder and i will be making a get request to this url which will be returning me the user id of a to do the title of the to do and whether it is completed or not I will be making a very simple HTTP request. So open Visual Studio, make a index.html file and first of all I will write the basic HTML which is required for making this request. Let me just give it a title of JavaScript Fetch API example and in the body we will be having a simple button which will trigger this action for us let me just give an id to it of to do and a on click event handler so when i click this button i need to execute fetch to do function which we will make the custom function let me just name this button as fetch to do that's it and now if i open this with live server so basically this is the functionality in visual studio you can just create this you can see that this is a button now if I open this in Chrome, if I copy paste this address and open this, you will see that there will be a button and I just need to bind a on click event handler. I have already binded that. So when I click it, I just need to execute this function, which will be fetch to do function. So here I just need to write function fetch to do. And inside this I just need to make a simple HTTP request which will uh, get the information about the to do so for this we will be using fetch so basically fetch is a HTTP request maker I here I will provide the URL so I will copy paste the URL or oh, this is not the URL let me just copy paste it here uh, this is the URL you can see that if I copy paste it paste this URL guys this returns a promise in order to handle this we have this dot then function so this returns a promise we just need to return this data which will be contained inside it let me just for now console log it console log data and now if I refresh the browser here and if I just zoom in so that you can see if I inspect element and go to the console here if I press this button fetch to do you will see that a response has returned to me if I expand this you will see that uh, this is contained inside various other type of information is there this is a URL re redirect status so in this I just need to have uh, a another data statement here so I just need to return here return data dot json i need to convert my response into json and this again returns a promise i will be chaining this dot then again so now this time it will be having our data and now if i console log it this time it it will be having our data and now if i refresh it once again press the button fetch to do it is saying that console is not defined sorry we have made a mistake here so this is console log data let me also print it in the previous statement console log data so that we can see the difference and now if i refresh it fetch to do you will see that first of all it has returned the full data it contained all the information url redirected status header information and in the second form of data it has only returned the data in the json format you can see that user id id title of the to do and completed so now we can just parse this information and we can display it and whether if any kind of error take place in our request we can handle this by dot catch so we have a dot catch functionality also so this will contain some kind of error which takes place you can also console log the error so now let's suppose I make a uh, error inside inside our URL. So this URL doesn't exist. Now if I refresh it, 
it will display the error you will see that type error fail to fetch you can see that now it is displaying this error which is displayed inside dot catch let me just uh, remove that and now if I refresh it you will see the response which is coming back from the API and now in order to uh, just parse this response which is coming back from the API I need to declare two variables which will hold the title of the to do let me declare a div which will be having an ID of results so inside this ID I just need to uh, display our information first of all I will be getting the reference which will be results document dot get element by ID here I will pass results after getting the reference I need to just attach the HTML which is coming here so results dot inner HTML and here I just need to make a paragraph tag so inside this you just need to display the I will be using back back text symbol so inside this we will also be able to embed the uh, our uh, variables so first is title of to do so this will come here inside dollar symbol inside curly brackets I can just embed my variable so this is contained inside uh, let me just show data dot title dot title so this is a to do title here so let me just close the paragraph and if I refresh it click the fetch to do button so you will see that the title of to do is this I can even show you this is a title that we are printing out on the screen here and I also need to print the ID of it ID of to do so here I can just make another paragraph tag here the ID of to do is dollar this will be data dot ID close this and also close the paragraph tag that's it and now it will also display the ID of the to do so if I click the button you will see that the title of to do is this it is fetching from this and the ID of to do is one so in this manner guys you can make simple HTTP request using fetch in JavaScript plain old JavaScript vanilla JavaScript from scratch I have shown you a very basic example how to parse the response which is coming back from the API first of all you just need to convert your response into JSON by calling this method data.json and then you can easily parse this response and display this inside your HTML so thanks very much for watching this.